Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It is good to be back in the classroom. It was a very busy but a great weekend. Both boys were in a tournament and uh, we started our Saturday off at about 7.15 at the fields. We came back home around 3. Then my wife and I had a wedding to go to. And then Sunday morning we were right back in the same spot. However, the day was extended because both boys were in the championship game. Graham's team... Uh, they had lost their last game Saturday, so that meant Sunday morning, the winner of that game went on to the championship. It was an awesome game for the boys. It ended 0-0, so it went to penalty kickoffs. Graham did score one of the penalty kicks for his team. They did win. They went on to the championship. However, they did lose the game, but we were so proud of the boys. They stuck together. They worked hard. It was a good progression for them to make. In the past, in a tournament, that they maybe lost a game or got down by a goal too. They kind of hung their heads a little bit. They didn't do that yesterday. So we're so proud of our boys, and that means they're ready to win it the next time they take the field. Uh, Jax's team, I think they were 3-0-1 oh, going into the championship game, and they lost 1-0. Now, as you know, Jax is our kid that is very happy-go-lucky. After the game, he was mad. He was very mad. And, you know, just shows that he cares. We try to console him a little bit. He wasn't having it. But I'm like, you're going to take a picture with your brother. It was a great weekend. We're so proud of you, too. He's like, no. I was like, get over there and take that picture. No. I was like, you get over there right now. He finally knew I meant business that third time. He went and took the picture. We took one. And then Graham tried to put his arms around Jax. And that's when Jax kind of turned around and gave him that big Andre the Giant slap to the chest. At that point, we knew it was time to go. But... Jax, his attitude changed. What was it? Time? No. Driving into the neighborhood, Jax saw garbage. It's amnesty day today in our neighborhood, and Jax and his buddies love it. They roam the streets looking for things they can take back to their treehouse in the woods, which pretty much looks like Sanford and Son and American Pickers joined forces. So he was happy to see that. All right, so let's get into this week's lesson plan. Uh, today, we're going to open up. We got three of our Topps Chrome Hobby and two Fire Packs. Those are Hobby as well from 2022. Tomorrow, I am going to update us on my uh, Fantasy Football Touchdown Contest. And also, I'm going to revise my lineup for Session 2. We'll also open up some Bowman U. Wednesday, I'm super excited. I am in the uh, Fantasy uh, Rip League. I'm in Heat 2, so I got, I think I know where I'm going to open up. Not quite 100% yet. Um, on Friday, or no, sorry, Thursday, I have a silver pack and maybe some other baseball to open. Yeah, I was saving those silver packs for Cubs playoff victories, but that's not going to happen. And Friday, we're going to go downtown hunting like we always do. All right, class is in session. Today's lesson is dedicated to the number 32, which is Johnny Lujak. He was the second um, Heisman Trophy winner ever at Notre Dame, and he was also a Chicago Bears quarterback a long, long time ago. And a lot of my friends say he was the last great Bears quarterback. I'm not sure about that, but it goes out to Johnny Lujak, who did pass away recently. All right, we got Tovar right here for the Rockies. There's a hitter right there, I tell you. Joey Manessas on the Gold Cup and Bo Naylor. So as for the uh, baseball playoffs, I am, I'll go with my main man, Kyle Schwarber, and the Philadelphia uh, Phillies. There's Albert Pujols, tip of the cap. It's pretty cool. Um, Miggy uh, Cabrera, he had his final game yesterday. And what do we got here? J.D. Martinez, numbered out of 199, 46 out of 199 to be exact. Very nice. And I'm also going for it right here. Shout out to J Plus K Retro Gaming. My American League team is going to be the Toronto Blue Jays. Graham also likes them as well. James Altman, very nice. So maybe when I get into that silver pack on Thursday, I'll get into some of those uh, predictions that everyone loves me to make. Because a lot of times this don't come to fruition. You, Darvish. Marcus Stroman came back at the end of the year. Things did not end well for our Cubbies. Josh Smith and Clayton Kershaw. I think I have three more packs left of this hobby box to maybe get a buyback. So Topps Fire is a product they did not um, renew for the 2023 season. And I liked Fire and Gallery. There's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. again. So it's a hot start for the Blue Jays. 
Um, they did not bring those sets back. And I did like both of those for the pure fact that it was a friendly product. I think a hobby box was like $80 for this, two guaranteed autographs, and pretty much the same thing for um, Topps Gallery. But you can find Topps Gallery for 17 bucks at Target. Pretty nice. George Springer on the red there. Andy Ashby. Spencer Torkelson. He had a nice year. A lot of those baseball rookies from last year did end up having nice seasons this year. So that's always good to see. All right, folks. Willie Adamas. A lot of my friends are Brewers fans. So I'm kind of, you know, cheering for them a little bit as well. Seiya Suzuki. Colton Wong, that's not number, nope. Jonathan India, George Springer. So kind of a ho-hum day of opening cards here, folks. That means the best is yet to come. Classes dismissed.